Hey, if you're watching this video between these dates on the screen, you have a chance to win a Luma. Watch till the end of the video to find out how. Hi Tamers! On this channel, I usually make competitive PvP-centric videos, but everyone knows that the true Temtem endgame is Luma hunting. It doesn't matter what your TMR is or how many tournaments you win, all that really matters is how many shiny Tems you have. In this video, we'll cover every way to obtain a Luma Temtem, and the pros and cons of each method. So let's jump right into it. Starting off with Radars. Once you've got your first team of 8 Tems that are at level cap, or at least pretty close, you can try your hand at Dojo Rematches. If you go back and defeat a Dojo Master, they'll give you a Radar based on their type. Radars allow you to encounter Thames of a specific evolutionary line in the overworld. So, for example, when I activate this Orphil radar next to a patch of grass that has Orphils in it, it will begin spawning Orphils and eventually Nidrasils in the overworld. Run into one, and you will enter a single or double battle with that Tem. Radars let you encounter a total of 400 Thames before they expire. Every time you knock out or catch a radar encountered Tem, the counter will go up. And if you ever run away from a radar encounter, or knock out, or catch a non-radar tam that doesn't match the radar, the radar will reset or break, depending on how deep you are in the radar. The higher the counter goes, the level of the radar tam will increase, as well as their minimum SVs and chance to be a Luma. You have a 5 times Luma chance after 200 encounters, and a 10 times Luma chance after 300 encounters. For each radar, this gives you about a 15% chance to catch a Luma. Radars are also useful for catching breed stock, grinding X. XP and TV training, but that's not why you're here. There are other cool nuances to radars that really makes you appreciate the effort Crema put in to code them effectively. Like, did you know, if a Luma spawns in the overworld and you accidentally leave the area or disconnect without encountering it, it'll still spawn that Luma when you come back. Online games have a tendency to disconnect you at the worst times, so if you forget to pay your internet bill, it won't cost you your Luma. This also means you can't just reset until a Luma spawns. Once the Tem spawns in the overworld, it's either a Luma or it isn't, and there's nothing you can do to change it. The downside to radars is not every Tem can be found in a radar. Tems that don't spawn in the wild, like Mythical Tems, Anna here, and these two starters. Also, Thames that have a low encounter rate between 5% and 10% can't be found in a radar. They used to be obtainable just like other radars, but Crema removed them from the game for now because they took around 12 to 15 hours to complete their 400 encounters, and sometimes felt more like a punishment than a reward. So getting these Thames in Luma form are very rare at the moment. Completing a radar usually takes around 4 hours minimum, but it depends on the encounter rate with lower encounter rates taking longer. Radars are probably the easiest way to obtain a Luma, but it's still RNG. Sometimes you hear about a tamer that has done 15 radars without getting a Luma, and then there are others that get 7 Lumas a week across 6 radars on 2 accounts. But if you finish a radar and don't get a Luma, at least you've only sunk a couple hours into it. Which is something I can't say about this next method, the Cypark. Cypark alternates every week between boosted SV Thames and boosted Luma odds. Usually, Cypark Thames have a 3x to 4x chance to be a Luma for that week. For a Tem with 100% encounter rate and 4x chance to be a Luma, you've got a 1 in 2500 chance to get a Luma. So compared to radars, it will usually take a lot longer to catch a Luma in the Cypark, but at least you can run away from the encounters that aren't Luma. And, if you're really desperate for a specific Luma, you can spend as long as you want hunting for one. 2,500 encounters and no Luma? That's fine! That only took you 14 hours, what's 14 more? I did about 4,000 encounters during the Luma Ori week a few weeks back, and I didn't get one, but I also know of tamers that have spent a lot more time than I did and never got one. And I also know of tamers who got one in less than 300 encounters. It's just RNG! I would just advise against falling into the sunk cost fallacy, and wasting too much time expecting to get a Luma. Speaking of wasting time, the next method is full odds! This is the term used for just running around in a patch of grass over and over looking for a specific Luma. No multipliers, no tricks, and no thing better to do with your free time. I've never Luma hunted this way on purpose, but I have caught a couple Lumas full odds. Sometimes you're just running around doing other stuff and BAM a Luma pops up out of nowhere and you just catch it. But if there's a specific Luma you want, and you don't want to wait for it in the Psy Park, and you can't get it in a radar, full odds is technically the most active method for obtaining that Tem. I personally don't have the free time to do this, but I personally don't have a Luma Pocus, so you know, pros and cons. 
There's also some benefit to full odds Luma hunting Thames that pop up during the boosted SV Cypark week. Lumas are already guaranteed to have 3 perfect SVs, and their minimum SV is always 20, except for speed. However, if you catch a full odds Luma during boosted SV week, they can come out with some ridiculously good stats. I mentioned that Luma hunting is the true endgame, but the true true endgame is perfect SV Luma hunting. And our next method is possibly the best method to obtain a perfect SV Luma. Luma eggs. Are you a fan of gacha games? Like Genshin Impact or Raid Shadow Le- Well, Temtem is somewhat of a gacha game itself. And the gacha are called Luma eggs. You see, whenever a Luma breeds with another Tem, the egg it produces has a higher chance to be a Luma as well. A Luma that breeds with a non-Luma has a 1 in 1000 chance to produce an egg containing a Luma. And then a Luma that breeds with another Luma has a 1 in 100 chance to produce a Luma. Of course, you don't know if the baby Tem will be a Luma until it hatches, but depending on the SVs of the parents and the DNA strands you use, the baby can have some really good stats. The only downside is you need two Lumas with opposite gender, and hopefully your two Lumas have some SVs that line up in a nice way. If their SVs bred together won't result in at least 4 or 5 perfect SVs, or lots of SVs above 40, they probably aren't worth breeding. But if you don't feel like hunting two Lumas to make eggs, you can always buy Luma eggs from other tamers. Luma eggs, once hatched, will have you as the original tamer, so if you happen to hatch a Luma, you'll have an easier time making it perfect. So in conclusion, there are lots of ways to get a Luma, but each method is still pretty difficult. If you see someone with a perfect SV Luma in a tournament, it's a massive flex because they obviously put a lot of effort in to get it. It always boils down to whether you want to spend time or money to get a Luma, which for an MMO is exactly how it should be. But what if I told you there was a way to get a Luma for absolutely free? Hi Tamers! We recently hit 500 subscribers on YouTube! And to celebrate reaching that milestone, I'm doing a Luma giveaway! All you gotta do to enter is click the Google Form link in the description. It'll ask for your TamTam in-game name. Fill it out and submit and you're in the giveaway! After one week, I'll pick three winners at random, and they'll receive their choice of a Luma Amphitear, Vulor, or Tateru. Each of them has six fertility, so you can make eggs with them if you like, use them as is, AFK with them out to flex, whatever you want! And that's all for this video! Good luck in the giveaway, and good luck in all of your future Luma hunting endeavors. And as always, thank you so much for watching! My name is Blunk, and I make Temtem content for YouTube. If you liked this video, thanks! Stay tuned for more, and have a nice day!